If you were placing your baseboards and quarter round or shoe molding, the shoe molding cutter is going to save you loads of time and frustration. You can cut your pieces right where they go and stop walking back and forth to the miter saw. The angles are easy to use and my wife used them to cut pine without any issues. Here I've already cut one piece to make a scarf joint. I'm marking the baseboard with a pencil. And then I'm going to bring the second piece up and use the line on the baseboard to mark the cut so you don't even need a tape measure. The molding is going to cover the markup when you're done. And then you just cut it right out the wall and nail it in. Or in this case, in my kitchen, since it's right next to the room I'm working in. Inside corners are always the trickiest part of trim work. Your walls are never perfect 90 degrees, so if you cut inside miters like this, you're most likely going to have a gap. You can try to fill it with caulk and paint it, but if you want a professional looking corner, pick up a coping saw along with this cutter, and coping is a lot easier than you think. You're going to do the same thing and cut the inside corner at 45 degrees like you normally would. Then you're going to use the white edge as a cutting guide. You want to use the coping saw to cut at an angle and just follow the line. I'd probably recommend using a couple pieces to practice on first. I promise it's easier than I'm showing right here. If you have a half round file, use that to clean up the edge a bit. Then you just pop it in this corner and it's gonna look a hundred times better after it's painted. So if you want to save some time on your next home remodeling project, pick up a pair of these and I promise you won't be disappointed.